Alright, what's up guys? Back to do some more Fire Emblem. Here with chapter 15. Now let's look at Bokker. D? And he's level 18? What? 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 Yeah. D. Wow. I expect at least a C or even a B. But a D? Ugh, oh, that's, that's hideous. Oh my god. I'm fighting a D. By the way, you might notice a difference in music. This is Lin's, uh, planes theme, I guess you could call it. And hey, it's Lindenberger, and we gain control of her. She's actually not a green unit. We just control. Same with Will. Uh, Kent Sane. Alright, Kent. There he is, still with his five defense of annoyanceness. It's like those three stats, and then it just goes crappy. Insane, who the hell cares? So those three right there, the armory, the other armory, and the uh, shop, they sell good weapons, like steel weapons, throw weapons, all kinds of crap. Also, they sell swim weapons, as you can see, which is really helpful. I would like to buy some of those, indeed. Slim weapons are really good. Well, at least I like them. The other one sells uh, lances and bows. And maybe axes. Actually, do any of them sell axes? I guess the other one sold axes. I wasn't really paying attention. Or maybe it didn't. I don't know. So yeah, depending on how you train your knights, it won't make a difference what weapons they get. They're set to get, well, saying get a steel lance and an iron sword, and can't get a steel sword and a javelin. The reason for that is, supposing you don't train either, they will automatically have an E in lances and a D in swords for Kent and an E in swords and a D in lances for saying so no matter how you train them they will always be able to wield the weapons they're given so no I don't want to suspend it nope no damn it or did I want to suspend it I did what did I do wrong what I forget oh I forgot those two well, see Matthew and Bartray, I guess I'm gonna get rid of you. That would have been smart. I gotta screw around with the positioning again. Oh, no I don't. I just say screw it. First new tactician. Yes, it was me. Of course it was me. It's always gonna be me. I'm always getting stuck with this crap. It's all Lindenberger's fault. Now I gotta move everyone all over again. Jesus crap. I should have just cut this, but whatever. Who cares? I don't. It's not like anything really important happened. I didn't attack anybody. Who knows? Now, the reason I do this is people will start to infinitely spawn up there and it gets really obnoxious. So basically, what I do is I throw a couple of my units I don't use up there. Just to kind of like flush it out. Alright. Get a couple good weapons. Throw a say in the corner so a brigand doesn't appear there. Yeah, I know where stuff appears. Oh, and yeah, they do sell axes. Why didn't I buy a steel axe for Hector? Not that he really needs one, but. Might as well. <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about it later.
Alright, let's start moving again. So as you can see, this is a lot of cavaliers in this level, a lot of differences in units. Mainly the purpose for this level, in my opinion, is to turn up your laggers. Like over here with all these four units, five units, in fact, they throw at you. It's just basically time for you to train everyone. Which is pretty helpful, but my units are already <laughs> higher than everyone else. I should actually be using Hector and what's his face more often. That's just ridiculous. Ken should be able to double hit. Even though these things have pretty good speed. Does that say with a slim sword he can't hit double? Screw it. No Dark Eyes is actually going to hit this. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he hit it? God damn it, Dark Eyes. How can we have such good luck? Not even. And then Lin can't hit for crap and you can just hit anything you feel like. Why do you have so much HP too? Dear Lord. Oh yeah. See, my units are just tanks right now. It's really smart not to just train your stupid units you're not going to use, because the less experience you give to them, the more experience you get here, the easier your life is going to be. Because, believe it or not, so far this game has been pretty easy. It gets hard. It can get very hard. Especially the last couple chapters, man. Especially just the last chapter in general. Oh my lord. I'm not even looking forward to that. Not at all. <clears throat> Guy's doing pretty well for himself. <clears throat> he has as much H defense as Dork has, which is pretty good. Good job. Hector's just beasting right now. The funny thing is, I don't even feel bad about putting him into the range of that mage because of his balls ass um, impossible defense. Also, I think I just grabbed the. What did I just grab there? Damn, it happened too fast. If I grab the dragon shield. That I'm doing things right, because I gotta give that to Lynn to finally give her her defense. She has not gotten a single point of defense ever since I got her. At level one. I also send another steel lance for Oswin. <clears throat> and at my turn. Yeah, screw it. Just go. One's got amazing skills at punching people in the balls. That really works in our favor. And a horse slayer. This is a lance, the horse slayer. A useful lance that basically will tear up any la any horses. However, like the armor slayer, it's heavy and will often may even result in you getting double hit. See, look, three, three. And what the hell was the point of that fight if both of them missed? What a pointless fight. Also, thieves on the other side. They are obnoxious as anything. And of course, can't, can't get him with that stupid point of attack he doesn't have. <clears throat> thieves normally will go towards you and steal stuff from you. That is their basic principle. They may also go towards chests and take them if there's chests on the floor and they're near them. That won't happen for a little while, so you won't have to worry about them taking chests from you for a little bit. But it will get kind of annoying later. Because <clears throat> they are a bitch. Also, their speed is kind of obnoxious, so you have to have someone with pretty good attack to kill them in one hit. Which isn't hard to find later on, but as of right now, it's just kind of stupid. 
because Kent just had like one more point of speed or one more point of attack and be all good. But of course he doesn't. Now I decide that I, I'm getting tired of watching people heal, so I just decide to turn on all the uh, animations of people getting attacked except for healers. You can't turn on Merlinus's because he really doesn't have one. Yeah, Stia Priscilla, no one cares. Bitch. Now the main difference between view A view like one and view two, like how you see battles is mainly that in two you see a background however in one you just see the field see look when I finally figure out who to attack with you'll see you'll see see you see the background of the map alright let's have Hector kill him and take care of it and be done with it Away with you. Thank you. Now I've got time for about one more turn end and a little bit of movement uning. Movement uning. Oh, by the way, something else I should mention. Those mountains, they are a bitch. I think I already mentioned this before with Wrath, but yes, they give extreme avoid 40, so that's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm sure it will be fun. Because he's also on a mountain, which gives extreme avoid, but not as much as mountains. Now watch this, see? But, what the? Why didn't you? Oh, because I want to give experience to Priscilla. Okay, that makes sense. You'll see in a second, though, what I mean. What I was talking about. Pick up what I'm putting back. Come on back. Critical hit. What level are you, Hector? <laughs> oh shit, he's already 10. Good lord. And he already has more speed than I would, so... No worries there, mate. Of course you hit with the Iron Axe. Why wouldn't anything else happen? Now, remember what I was saying about that thief, about how they normally just go and steal something? Well, they can only steal weapons, or... I mean, they can't steal weapons, they can only steal stuff like vulnerabilities, door keys, etc, etc. They can be kind of annoying because they can't steal, like, equipment items or stuff like that. But, Kent doesn't have anything on him, so... This thief does one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. He attacks. That's unheard of. I've never in my entire life seen a thief attack. Ever. 